This is a demo we worked on with uh, Accenture, looking at social media data and CRM data. Social media and CRM data is, uh, has a lot of information in its comments, but it's relatively difficult to extract any meaning out of those comments and to, to get the big picture because it's all completely unstructured text. So what Accenture gave us was a series of uh, raw HTML files from public-facing customer review sites of uh, customer electronics. So we have data from Amazon, Best Buy, CNET, all of mobile phones, computers, and uh, audio systems. So the first step with this data was to run it through uh, a series of workflows to properly extract the relevant fields and reviews. Uh, there's a lot of conditional logic and workflow logic involved in doing this. The second step was to uh, run these normalized reviews through our sentiment and entity extracting workflows to pull out the key phrases, the sentiment, and the topics of the uh, corresponding reviews. Once these entities were extracted and the reviews were classified, we were able to present their totals and top-level reviews so you can spot trends. And so first up here, we see a list of topics. These topics were automatically determined per document uh, based on our classification module. And the way this works is, given some training documents um, categorized into specific issues, the module is then able to figure out if a subsequent document is like any one of these categories. So it will automatically classify uh, issues by the topic. So here we have uh, issues classified by uh, battery life problems, uh, input like the keyboard or mouse, audio like speaker problems. Here we have uh, key phrases, and this is a list of entities um, extracted out of the text. These are um, sort of unlikely or improbable key phrases uh, within the text. And over here we have sentiment analysis. This is similar to our uh, categorization module in that it determines if a review is either positive or negative. So here what we're seeing is uh, the aggregates of all of the reviews in the system. Really, a, a normal use case would be for someone to figure out uh, one of their products and drill into it. Let's say Dell computers. When we apply this facet, uh, we can see that the graphs above changed to only apply to Dell computers. And we see that the, uh, the key phrases and sentiment have changed accordingly. If I want to see only negative reviews of Dell computers, I can just apply the negative facet. Looking at the tag cloud, I can see that hard drive pops up as one of the dominant issues. Click that, and I can see several reviews of hard drive failures. So the other real use case here is to look at CRM cases and be able to relate them to customer reviews to get a real sort of 360 degree view of what's happening in the organization. So to see how an issue uh, is causing problems in the field or to see um, if in a, the company is aware of it based on problems in the field. So for example, say I look at CRM cases uh, for mobile phones. Uh, let's look at the first one here. I'll click uh, more like this uh, for the HTC Droid uh, Eris. And what this does is it resubmits a search based on uh, that company and category, the sentiment, and the topic. So now when I go ahead and look at my corresponding customer reviews, I'm seeing 20 matching reviews for, uh, for screen problems with the, uh, with the HTC. So I'm seeing plenty that mention it. Like, for example, I scroll down here. I'm seeing uh, references to the screen, like typing on the screen, making mistakes, dust under the glass, and so forth. While many CRM solutions have limited search functionality, it tends not to be particularly powerful. So we're going to go right to the source of our CRM issues, salesforce.com cases. Digging into one of these cases, I see that the description clearly references a software patch. However, searching for patch in the native search bar finds nothing. Not all of the fields are searchable. However, searching for patch in Nativio searches all of the fields from several different sources. So not only do we find the case we're looking for, 
but we see dynamic facets and related information from other sources. Going back to salesforce.com, let's make a quick edit to one of the cases. Let's say uh, add the version number in the description as well as the title. When we save the changes and then go back to Ativio and resubmit the query, we see that our changes are instantly reflected. So as you can see from this demo, there's a lot of valuable information hidden in both social media and CRM solutions. Finding and understanding trends both in the wild and within your organization can avoid problems and allows you to make better decisions. While several tools exist for monitoring various sources independently, only Ativio's Active Intelligence Engine allows you to integrate all of these sources for a complete picture.